Hello everyone and welcome to OpenWRT tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to install w OpenWRT um, on your system. That's basically uh, clone the repository and build it and run that image on VirtualBox. So it's dealing with OpenWRT and virtual box okay so as you can see I already have the code of open WRT so you can easily clone it from this link and uh, just follow the instructions uh, to install whatever is necessary and this repository is for W Sorry, OpenWRT uh, Bleeding Edge version. You have different different versions coming up like AA, BB, CC. So this is Bleeding Edge. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through this uh, because since I've already done this, so it's very simple, uh, not much issues while doing it from your Ubuntu system. Okay. So once this is done, so here, this is all about installing and doing whatever is required. And after that, we need to build our image. In order to build our image, we need to select, okay, for which target and what kind of Im image. So for that, I'm going to run make menu config. So once you followed all this, steps you will be you will have this directory called as openwrt so when you move into it so these are the different folders there would be few folders which is not created before make so like build directory dl etc all right so now we can give make menu config when you're doing this for the first time it will take a little more time compared to now Okay, so it's opened up and I'm going to select for 86 target system. So just you can select for whichever appropriate target. So for me, it's going to be 86. All right. And next, once you give a make after the build, what kind of image it needs to create, especially for your virtual box. So that's going to be a dot VDI file. Go into target images and select build virtual box image files. Right. So that's done. And when you're doing it for the first time, it asks, do you want to save changes into dot config file? Please press yes. Since I've already done it, it's not required for me. And then after this, you just go about giving make and go have a cup of coffee. It's going to take some time, at least an hour. And once you come back, now you need to see if the image is created or not. So the image would be created in bin file, whichever target you have specified. So, yeah, it's created. It'll be like with dot .vdi extension. You have actually two files, squashfs and ext4. Okay, so I'm going to be using this ext4.vdi so that I can write into it. So, you can install VirtualBox 
for 32 bit or 64 bit machine it, it's easily available on the net and here i'm just going to guide you of how to set it click new give whatever name you require you can select linux okay open to 32 or other linux machine so hit next this is about memory space as of now you don't need to worry so much about it i mean if you're just looking at how to start and just have a look and feel of w open wrt hit in next then here select use an existing virtual hard disk file and select it from your folder All right your open wrt folder so where i shown it will be in bin directory so that's the same thing you can select it i've already selected so it's not required for me and once you hit ok so it will come up here with whatever name you had given so one thing with ubuntu system is when you're running virtual box go into system processor and please click enable PAE otherwise it throws up an error and it will not boot up your open WRT okay so once that is done okay, mine is already running here so I'll just close that okay so you've selected i have only one right now so and hit a start it'll open up another window and it will show you just like how it's in how it's done in grub Hit enter. it's a little slow on my system but it'll boot up actually even faster so i'm not sure why it's taking so long It's done so you can see open WRT wireless freedom 
and the version is bleeding edge. So if you have a look, so you can see all the different folders, the root directory. Just you can just explore by looking into each and every directory, what it contains, etc. Okay, so thanks for watching and for the next video, I'll come up with how to get your LAN connection up so that you can download into w Open, Open WRT or you can do an SCP or just ping anything like that. So thanks for watching. Bye.